and welcome back to my new Marvel Funko Pop 2024 news video. And today, I'm going to show you guys all four official HD images of the second wave for the new Deadpool and Wolverine Funko Pop bobblehead. So these have been officially revealed since last month, since I've seen a leaked picture of all the characters on the back of the packaging for one of the different bobbleheads from that wave. So now we have official HD pictures of these characters right here. So I am going to show you guys each of these different images for all the different characters for the second wave for the film itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up here we have Deadpool and Headpool. So this is like some two pack right here that they're doing right here. And this looks pretty nice. So I love Deadpool right here in that different pose right here. So he looks really nice and funny with that pose right here. So I totally love the nice detailing for his face right here with his mask right there and the different look for his eyes right here while the black eye lenses are like going up just a smidge right here. And I love his pose right here that his right hand is doing like that finger pointing look right here for that funny pose right here. And he does come with that see-through stand that will help him stand up properly right here just in case if he has trouble standing up while we display the character and I love the red black and the brown paint detailing right here for his belt and his suits right here and there are the different color browns right here since we have a darker brown color scheme on top of his black gloves right here for both of his left and right hand and we have a lightish brown designed for his belt right here with his straps and pockets right here so I feel like I don't understand why Funko went, well, I don't understand why they did that right here is what I meant to say, because I feel like that doesn't make sense with the two different browns right here, but they could just like match it up right here. And I love the katana holder on his back right here that we can see a part of it sticking out on the left side of the character. And yeah, this is a pretty nice look for Deadpool right here. And we do get head pull alongside with him since he looks pretty hilarious in my opinion. So I love the propeller helmet or the helmet propeller, whatever you want to call it, that is on his head right here to help him fly into the air right here. And we have the hover piece right here representing him flying with that propeller helmet piece right here. Well, just the helmet itself right here. Since I love the black and tan color scheme right here, since I love the dark tan stripes on top of the helmet right here, which is a nice touch. I love his face right here we can see the skeleton mouth with that rotten teeth right here and the deadpool mask being all torn up right here so yeah this is a really nice design for head pull says i can't wait to see how he turns out in the movie in one week right here so yeah i just love that detailing for head pull right here and that nice and hilarious look i love the funny pose for deadpool right here so that is a really nice touch right here so i totally love the detailing for the character itself i still wish they could match up the brown color scheme for his gloves right here to match you with the belt right here. But at least it's still a pretty awesome bobblehead since I love him and head pulses. I will add them into my collection. They are so freaking nice right here. Next up, we have Wolverine and Baby Pool. So this is like another two pack right here since I still have the nice design for Wolverine with his cow right here and that different facial expression and that rage look. I love his different pose position with the animanium claws right here that are crossing together in front of his torso right here so that is a really nice touch i love the paint apps for the yellow blue and black color scheme for his suits right here so that is a really nice touch i love the detailing for his shoulder pads in that blue yellow and black color scheme right here and we have the x-men logo in that red color in that center part for his belt right here so this is a really nice design for wolverine right here I totally love how the way he turns out right here. And hopefully, we'll get to see his cowl in the film right here. Hopefully, he'll wear it in the movie right here. Because I would love to see how it turns out in the film right here. Because we didn't see him wearing it in the TV spots in the trailers right here. But I would love to see him wearing it in the movie. Because, again, I wanted to see how it turns out in the film next week. So, again, I totally love the pose right here. And the paint apps for the suit looks freaking great right here and baby pool looks so adorable in my opinion so i just love that deadpool pacifier that 
is in his mouth right here. So that is a really nice design right here for the Deadpool pacifier right here. And the face looks so adorable in my opinion. And I can see we have two baby bottles on the left and right side of the character right here. Since I can see the second one a little bit on the left side part for the character. But I can see a bit of it on the right side of the character since I see a bit of that Deadpool logo on that center part of the bottle right here. And the torso looks nice with that Deadpool symbol on that center part of his belt right here. And I love that sitting position for baby pool right here since he looks so adorable in my opinion i can't wait to see how he turns out in the film right here so yeah i just totally love how that turns out right here since we haven't seen him in any of the tv spots in the trailers right here because i feel like that is like a hundred percent of a spoiler but still i can't wait to see how he turns out in the movie right here since he looks so freaking adorable and wolverine looks pretty nice right here since it would be nice if they made another one that he is on mask and he doesn't have the sleeves right here. Since I would love for Funko to make another version that he doesn't have his mask on and so as his sleeves. But at least this version right here looks pretty nice with that sick pose and that rage face right there. Next up we have Dogpool and he looks so freaking hilarious to me in my opinion. So I just love that face right here. It looks so freaking funny right here with his tongue sticking out of his mouth. And we have his goggles right here and some of his white fur on his head and on both of his left and right side of his cheeks right here. And I love that dark pink nose right here for dog pool right here. And I love like that sandish purple skin tone for him that I'm going to say, but at least it still looks good. It looks good. And I love his little Deadpool suit. We have his like small Deadpool shoes right here on his Pause right here says that is so adorable in my opinion and we had that little like brown strap right here on that center part for his body right here representing like his belt right there and we do get a Deadpool collar on him which is a really nice touch right here we had the Deadpool logo once again but for his collar right here with that gold strap right here that you can see on that center part for the torso right here so yeah that is he really Nice design right here. I love the sitting pose for dog pool. It is pretty nice right here. And this is a funny looking character right here since I would love to see him in the film right here since we did see him in the TV spots and the second trailer for the movie itself. And I still love the goggles right here in that dark brown color since I still dig the goggles for dog pool right here. So yeah, this is a really nice design for this character right here and it is a pretty funny looking character right here since I love the tongue sticking out of his mouth right here and all that looks pretty nice since I love the paint apps for the red and black color scheme right here for his little Deadpool suit but yeah this is a really nice character right here and here's the fourth and final character for this wave right here and that is Kid Pool so Kid Pool is a really nice and interesting looking character for this wave right here since I love the nice detailing for his mask right here and that nice design with the stitching on the center part of his face right here. So yeah, that is a really nice design right here. And we have his black eye lenses going up just a smidge right here. And I love how they gave him two of the yellow water guns right here. First of all, I thought they were Nerf guns, but no, I was one of their water guns right here. And I love the like little water patch right here for... The water guns is of those little orange water tubes that I'm going to say. But yeah, that is pretty nice with the paint detailing right here. Since Funko is really nailing with the paint apps for these bobbleheads right here. Especially some of the ones from Marvel. But at least I totally love his torso right here with the Deadpool logo on that center part of his chest right here. For his sweatshirt right here since we have that bit of the hood on top of his body right here. Which is a nice touch. I love the... Black short sleeves right here and the long red sleeves right here and the gloves look pretty nice right here and the leggings for him look pretty nice with the gun straps on his left or right side of his leg and even his knee pads look really fantastic to me in my opinion. I love how they did a really good job with his sneakers right here in that red, black, and white color scheme right here and I love the black lenses right here and I love the white stripes right here because they almost remind me of the 
Adidas or Nike shoes right here. Well, mostly Adidas because of the way they turn out right here. But at least I love his belt right here. We have that Deadpool logo being covered up on top of the forehead right here because of the sweatshirt right here. So, yeah, that is a really good design for Kid Pool right here because I would love to add him into my collection if I get a chance to. But at least I love the pose right here with the water guns for this guy, but at least he is pretty awesome in my opinion. So there you guys have it. These are all four of the brand new Funko Pop bobbleheads based off of Marvel Studios Deadpool and Wolverine for the second wave right here. So I can't wait to get all these characters right here. And by the way, all of these bobbleheads cost $12 right here. And they are gonna release in stores like after the movie comes out next week, which is like next weekend right here since I We'll get all of them, well, mostly Deadpool and Wolverine right here. And I will get them with the two characters, which is Baby Pool and Head Pool right here. And I'll see if I could get Kid Pool and Dog Pool into my collection right here. Well, I know the other different versions of Deadpool and Wolverine have been officially out in stores right here. And so has Amazon right here. But I'll see if I could get those other ones right here. But mostly I'll get the ones that has the two different Deadpool variants, which is Headpool and BB Pool, because I would love to add the Deadpool variants into my collection. And I wanted to get some more X-Men Funko Pops in my collection right here. So at least these are really nice characters right here. Hopefully we'll get some more after the movie comes out next week, since we have one week until the movie comes out. And I'm very excited for it. So I can't wait to see the movie next week right here and it is gonna be freaking awesome so this is a really nice wave right here since i wanted funko to make more characters based off of the movie but at least they are pretty nice right here so i don't have anything else to say about them but that's all i've gone so far right here for the lineup itself so that is it for now thank you guys for watching remember to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell the see button and don't forget to hulk smash that comment section down below and tell me in the comments what you guys think about the second wave for these characters for the lineup i'll see you later alligators